Good day, all. I hope everybody is having themselves a good day, or at least as good as you can have. I just decided it was time to uh, get our fertilizer spreader out of the field, our neighbor's field, that is. Now, what I want to do, I kind of got a wild hair, and I want to get rid of everything that we have leased and get rid of that. And I had mentioned last episode that I think we should start buying everything, or at least most everything. The only thing I don't think we're going to be able to buy right off the bat, let's unload that, is our harvester. I do not think we're going to have enough cash to get that done. But I suppose renting something isn't too bad. We, we, yeah, we're all right with that. I think we can handle that. So what do we have? Oh, uh, I do know we can't. Oh, well, let me shut this thing off. There we go. We have something out in the field over here. Let's just tab over to that guy. There we go. What? No. All right. Now, this has got a little something, something in it. So we'll get it emptied out. Then we'll get all this returned. And then I noticed something. We had bought the uh, farm that's right over there, kind of catty corner from uh, this farm. Let's. Oh, maybe I have to. No, I don't want that. I want to unload. No, what am I doing? Fold up. Be gone with you. There we go. I was hitting the wrong trigger. Real nice. Smooth. <laughs> Smooth as silk right there. Any hoot. Here, let me go and let me pull up the map. So we had bought uh, the Pine View Farm. I could not remember the name. And I did not realize that if we come down here, we get 24, 26, and 27 well, along with that. Which I think is outstanding. I, we only paid like 125000 for it. Something like that. And 125, almost 126. Very nice. No, actually, that was almost 125 plus 100. My eyes, uh, my mouth went before my eyes were able to focus on the price, I think. <laughs> so the only downside to these three right here is that we got some sugar beets. Now, we're definitely not going to be able to rent anything or get anything big. As I say, we're not going to rent stuff. I'm probably going to rent everything I need for sugar beets because I I really don't do sugar beets very often, and that is by choice. But these two fields, 26 and 27, the first thing they are going to need is fertilized. So let's go in here. First, I want to do is least items. Let's get rid of the terror track, one of my favorites. Goodbye. Hate to see you go. That's gone. Uh, Sulky is gone. Uh, we do not need the uh, Windrow anymore. We don't need the Rat Master anymore. We are leasing free. So what I do need is I need a fertilizer spreader. And I have been looking around and I thought I found one that I kind of liked. Where was it? Uh, it was this guy right here. The Acura? 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 10,000? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. That's the ticket. So we're looking at it holds 10,000 liters. It does fertilizer, lime, and manure, which that's pretty darn awesome. Now, I do not know if it fast farms, but either way, what? It does a 24-meter spread. That's not bad at all. 13.5. Let's buy it. And that is ours. Now, we are soon going to be out of room over here. Now, with the Pine View Farm, we did have a few sheds over there. So, if we're going to start separating things, we're going to have to decide what is going to go where. First thing I need is I need a tractor to go pick up our spreader. And I think the Fendant should do just fine for that. So, let's get her butt down to the store, grab our spreader. Then we'll come back here and we'll clean up uh, at least the fertilizer that's here. There's not much for seed. But the fertilizer we got left over should, I don't think it's going to fill us up, but it'll get us, it'll get us enough to get our fields fertilized anyway. Well, I have to say, this machine is bigger than what I was thinking it was. It is uh, quite a beast. I, I don't know why I didn't think it was going to be this large, but it is large and in charge. Let's load her up here. So now how are we going to get from point A to point B here? 
Oh, that shouldn't be too bad. Just take the, our main road right here. All right, we can handle that. Pull up here. We're going to finish loading all these. Well, there we go. About We're going to get about half out of this. Not bad at all. That should keep us busy for a while. All right, let's get our butt to work. That's what I'm thinking. I think we turn right here. And, oh, do we turn first one or second one? Uh, I'm going to say second one. That's what I'm going to say. I uh, could be completely wrong. I say all kinds of crazy things all the time. And it looks like uh, looks like I was wrong. <laughs> Lucky for us, I guess. Oh, look. Whoa, no. We drove right through here. <laughs> all right. Let's turn this beast around here. This is uh, quite large. Now, I got to say, the Fendon, I'm kind of surprised how well it pulls this guy. Doesn't seem to have any issue at all. Let's back up so we can kind of see where our spreader goes. Kick it on. Ah, there we are. There we are. No problem at all. Now, these are little bitty fields. My goodness. This one is... This one is very small. You know what I'm thinking? Is I'm thinking that we'll harvest what we've got in here. Wow, that turns wide berth for turning there. But then I'm thinking we should just turn these into grass fields and be done with them. I think it'll make perfect grass fields. I think I missed just a wee bit back there. But it'll make the mowing easy. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm sold on this spreader, but I can't say anything bad about it yet. I gotta have a little time to adjust. I've been using that little sulky for a while. That kind of spoils you. See, it's just it's things like that. What the heck? That's all on me. Nothing on the spreader. All on me. It's always all on me. There we go. Looks like we got a few spots up here we can go ahead and hit. But I think for little bitty fields, this might not be the best spreader. But again, that can just be the operator. Now we could buy the uh, honey pot right here. Make us some money selling honey. Huh. I'm a poet and didn't know it. <laughs> I am not. I am not a poet in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> I'm sorry. Bad joke day must be. Bad joke day. For sure. Now, all right. I'm going to zip around this guy right here. Let's just get this knocked out and get this job over with. All righty. There we go. Wrapping up the last little bit. Now, no matter what anybody says about this map, they cannot take away of what a good looking map this is. I'm just driving around and you look over and you've got the little lake over there that kind of feeds into a reservoir. Then at the other end of the field, there's another little retention pond or a pond of some kind anyway. Very nice. This is really good looking map. Now let's, uh, let's go over here and take a look at this sugar beet field and see what kind of project this is going to be. Again, not very big. I think it's the biggest of the three. But see, I think all three of these would make an outstanding little grass area. We could just turn it all into grass. Maybe even buy that field over there. I don't even know what that's running. Well, okay. It kind of runs right to the edge of the map, does it not? Oh, I guess there is no buy in that. Value is zero. Well, that's kind of weird, but okay. Hey, whatever. Does it say what it is? It's, it's corn. So you can buy it for nothing? 
Oh, uh, and wait a second. Let, let's go over here. Let's do a little experiment. Let's drop that. We don't need that to go with us. Can you go over here? Oh, no. The answer is no. No, you can't. Oh, I thought I had it. Come on, go, baby. There you go. That's what we like. Self-riding tractors. Nothing better. At least if I'm driving, there's nothing better. So, all right. We won't get that other field, obviously. I think we should probably... Let's just get these dang sugar beets out of the way. If we can get the sugar beets done, then uh, maybe we can go ahead and start the process of turning these into grass. We'll plant that one in grass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to the shop. Shop, sorry. That's work. I can't. <laughs> That's my real job right there. Head back to the shop. Oh, wait, no. Head back to the farm. That's what I meant to say. And we'll drop this off, and we will go looking to see what we can find that's going to work for us to harvest these sugar beets. So where are we going to put this thing? This is a pretty big beast. Let's just park it over here for right now. We're going to have to figure out storage. If we're going to be buying everything, we are going to have to figure out storage. Wow, look at that. I think I did it. Let's take a look here. Not too shabby for using those little bitty mirrors. Not bad at all. Okay, now that we've uh, patted ourselves on the back, I didn't sprain my arm too bad. <laughs> so, where are we at? We need beat technology. We do, we do. Okay, now what do we got? We have three meters. Uh, oh, okay, so, oh, this is the topper. That's a topper. We can handle that. Now, what is this guy here? Okay, so we will, no matter what we use, this one is the topper, and we would, this needs a topper. Do we have anything that does not? Well, these two don't need it, but those are the homer, and those things, woo! They cost some money. And what does that oh that goes to oh i know what that goes to that goes to this big beast right there beat technology so we're not going to be using any of that so i guess if we're not using that we are going to be using uh the rooster rootster oh that's it the rootster and then all the rooster 300 and then the rootster 604 so those are what we're going to need. Okay, how much is this going to cost? Now, we are leasing this. I know I just started off with all my spiel about not leasing, but again, I am not leasing stuff for sugar beets or buying stuff for sugar beets. Five grand. We better make some money off of this, I hope. Anyway. Okay, there we are. Now, I, I think the Fendant might carry one. But let's shut that off. Come on, baby. Let's head on over here. It's getting the mass eat. Now, I loaded these up. I think I've got a couple more. I didn't quite get my job done. But we're just going to, you know, let's do that right now. Squirrel chasing a nut. But might as well get rid of these. We've got no use for them at all. I don't have any horses, no cows. We don't need any of this. And I'm probably just going to put this in the cell point 150 and be done with it. It's right there. We can have it to job finished over with. All right, let's get in here and drop off the last bale. Whoa, okay. All right, calm down. There we go. And I know the bale is not supported. Let's back her up. There we go. Whoa, simmer down. Am I dropping any off the back? No, I need to take go a little bit slower, though. A little bit slower pace here. All right. 
I know. There we are. Tink, 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 tink. And boom. 2500 bucks. That is not too shabby at all. Let's just take this guy. And this looks like a perfect spot. You know, if I didn't have that tree, I could put a little something, something right here. A little shed, you know what I mean? That is not a bad idea. Wait a second, let's go ahead. Back this guy up over here. Perfect. All right. Now let's get our butt down to the store and uh, see what it's going to take to get this equipment where we need it to be. Well, there it is. A monstrosity that it is. So we can get one of them. Now, does that mount to the back? That doesn't... Hold on. I want to see something here. Again... <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm not sure why they put these things backwards unless this mounts to the front, but it doesn't look like it would. Yeah, just like that. No, it would not. All right. Well, that's okay. That's okay. So I have an idea. Maybe we can get both of them there at the same time. This always works out so well for me <laughs> when I try to do this. Okay, come here, you. See if we can just set you up there nice and gingerly. Okay, now I that might make it. It might. Don't laugh at me, it might make it. <laughs> oh yeah, heck yeah. It's like a rock it is. Alright, anything coming? Oh, yep. Ah, don't stop too quick. That's bad. Oh, this might be a long trip, folks. Come on. They're going to be yelling at me real soon. Just like that. Oh, I hear you. I hear you. Zip it. <laughs> Just zip it. Nice and easy. There we go. Lucky for us, it's pretty much, once we get to the end of this road, a straight shot. I think we're going to make it just fine. That is vote of confidence right there. I'm trying to convince myself. Either way, I think I will see you all there. Unless something uh, interesting happens, and then I will definitely share that with you. Well, I cannot believe that we made it here without incident. At least so far, there's been no problems at all. Didn't fall off. Didn't give me any grief at all. I like it when that kind of stuff happens. It does not happen very often. Now, isn't this the way I needed to go? I think it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This will take me to my field. That's right. Is it still on there? It is. I think we will. I think we will buy these bees. And the greenhouses, I think. Can't we fill those up? Can we make money on those? I would assume, or why would they have them? I hope that's, uh, this Massey isn't too loud for me. This thing is... Uh-oh. <laughs> I, I seem to be missing something. <laughs> I guess that's why, uh, let me drop that. Uh, I guess that's why I had no problems. <laughs> let's, go, let's go back and see if we can find our header now. Oh, good. We didn't lose it too far. It's right there. I was like, what the heck? No, slow down. My goodness gracious. All right. Pick it up. Oh, this way. There we go. Ah, uh, no problem at all. At least it made it most of the way. As I was saying, this massive, my goodness, I don't know why it is so loud in my ears. 
but I certainly hope it's not that loud for you guys. Okay, this. Now, with this little bitty guy, this looks like a much bigger field. <laughs> much, much bigger. So, all right, we'll lower down. Let me turn on my menu here. Uh, turn on the topper. And I am going to run a few headlands for sure. You know what I should do? Well, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do now that I've sit here and pondered for just uh, literally about a second and a half is let's get a few headlands ran here. And then we will put it on a worker. We'll run back to the farm. We'll grab the fendant. And then we are going to switch out the fendant and the massey because I think the fendant can run the topper. But I don't think it's going to be able to run the harvester. So then maybe we can kind of kill two birds with one stone and have both of them running at the same time. That is the plan. Whether it works out that way or not, well, who knows. But that is what we're going to give a whirl to. Give a whirl to? That's what we're going to give a try anyway. So, all right, let's, uh, let's get a few headlands ran. Shut that up. Oh, that was wrong. That even works in reverse. Very nice. Well, I am thinking that just two headlands is going to do it. So now we can go ahead, drop this guy on here. Let's see here. How's he going to do? All right. I guess we'll have to come back and clean that up. I wasn't paying attention to the line. So that's all right. We'll take care of it. While uh, this guy is doing that, we will run back to the farm. We will grab a couple of things and then head our butt right back here. And we are back. Now, I did go ahead and I brought up our truck as well. I figured we are going to need to do something. So let's let this guy get up here and then we will swap out implements and see how well the fendant does on the topper. There we go. And it is now mine. Goodbye there, sir. Let's drop that, or ma'am, whichever you were. I do not know. All right, let's go over. We're, we will hook up this guy. Now, what I want to do is I want to get it over here on that where that little triangle is. Let's get that thing taken care of so the harvester itself won't have any issues. There we go. Drop it down, turn it on. Now this is only gonna take, I would think, a couple of passes and we should have it licked. And then we'll pull in the other harvester, or actually the harvester. This is not the other harvester. Well, they're not quite getting the ends here, but that's not shocking. That just makes me think, you know, should I uh, have both machines running at the same time or not? Now that I've went through all of this. I don't think this field's going to take us too long. I'm actually quite surprised at how quick it's going with this little, I think it's what, a three meter? I think it's a three meter. I know it's not any bigger than a four. That's for sure. There we go. 
Yeah, that'll be fine. We'll get them both rocking here. I'll stop that. All right, one more pass, and then we'll jump in the other one, and we'll get it going, rocking and rolling. And we should make short work out of this field. All righty. Got the worker going. Set back up. We've cleaned up a little bit of their mess anyway. Let me turn on my menu here. I sh should be able to do that. And we got to unfold. I guess we do not. Well, it's it's not doing anything. So I am obviously doing something. Oh, lower. That will help. I thought I did that already. The answer to that is no. There we go. I am very curious as to how much money we are going to make out of this. I've always uh, kind of stood away, stood away, stayed away from potatoes and sugar beets just because of the uh, the expense of the machinery. But I never really use anything small like this. I always use the bigger stuff. So this is going to be interesting for me to see if we can actually make money on a small field of sugar beets. There we go. Boy, this thing turns real nice. That was sarcasm, by the way. <laughs> In case you didn't know, you couldn't tell. It was definitely sarcasm. All right. Now, this is going pretty good. Let's turn that guy off of there. Let's, uh, let's just kick back and uh, harvest us some sugar beets. I think I'm going to go ahead and drop this on a worker as well. We've got the worker removing the tops, but they said their job was done. I, <laughs> I don't think it is, but you know, who am I to argue with the help? That's kind of the way it goes. But I figure uh, we'll put this on a worker, then we'll jump over and we'll finish removing all the tops. Then maybe we'll jump back over, let this worker go and see if we can get it finished up. But at some point in time, we're going to have to take this truck and dump it off because it's going to be full soon. Let's get these few. Evidently, I'm a bad aim, so I'm missing a few here and there, but not surprising. Turn this bad boy around. I think that should do it. Oh, perfect. All right, now let's... No, wrong direction, man. Wrong direction. Grab the fendant. Let's see if we can get this finished up. I don't think it's going to be too bad. I never think it's going to be too bad. 
until it is, and then, well, what are you going to do? Suck it up, buttercup. <laughs> That's what you do. All right, let's see if we can get this thing pounded out here. We're almost done. Well, close to done anyway. Probably with maybe a little over half if you include taking the tops off and the harvesting. Okay, maybe not half as I sit here and ponder that. But we're, we are well on our way. So I'm going to just go ahead and get this finished up. And then uh, I'll see you probably when we are taking a load to the sell point. Well, at least one job is done. And I have to say, this Fendant is not very good at turning. It reminds me very much of a Silverado pickup truck that I had. You need a 40-acre field to turn that pig around. And that Fendant is... Uh, Lacking in the turning ability. Oh, so used to starting it. Oh, there we are. Look at that. Full, full, full. Now I would say that we are halfway done. And this guy is... Oh, come on, brakes. There we go. Darn near full. So where are we going to sell this stuff? Wrong button. Wrong button. Let's see here. Where are we going to sell? We are looking for sugar beets. And the best price is... Now, I know this is shocking, but it's at the sell point 150. So do I sell it there and be somewhat cheaty? Or do I go to the Severn Valley shop? Oh, Severn Valley... Severn Valley Stores. Woo! My goodness. I don't know. Where are, is the Severn Valley Stores? Let's look. I mean, I'm probably going to go to the sell point 150 anyway. But I'd like to know where it is. And I don't see it. I know it's there. It's always flashing at me, and then I feel like a maroon when I do my editing because it's like, oh, it's right there. Oh, it's right here. But why is it not flashing? Oh, because I didn't tag it. Because I'm a maroon. Oh, I don't know. It's substantial amount different. Well, not huge but still it's a couple of hundred dollars per thousand liters we're going to go to the sell point i can't help it all right let's go hit it let's go see if we can get it done before the helper is full i would say probably no the only thing we have going for us is this truck goes at a pretty good clip well, I don't think we're going to make it back before they're full. They've already at 80%. Boom. Go, baby, go. Drive like your pants are on fire. I don't know why that would make you drive any quicker, but, you know. <laughs> Aye, there we are. Let's dump it. How much are we going to get out of almost 30,000 liters? Well, it is going up, not going up super fast. Oof. Okay, it's not a get rich quick scheme, that's for sure. And they are full. How much we get? Now 15,000. All right, that's not bad. Not bad at all. We should at least I think that just with that we made our money back from what we rented. Or least, whichever way you want to say it. So now, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's get her butt back there and see if we can get this thing finished. And there we go. This one is done. Now we ended up getting not quite two full truckloads out of it. Well, I guess that's unless we ended up with 10% over a full truck here. First truck, we only had 90% in. Where are we at with this one? Ooh, oh, I don't know. 
Oh, we're not going to get it all in there, I don't think. Well, it looks like we are going to end up with about two truckloads full. Pretty darn close. All right, let's go get this empty. We should get what? Oh, somewhere right around the 16,000 mark, I would think. That should, uh, that should be pretty good. And then we'll have just a little bit left. That should not get us very much at all. Oh, there we go. Nice tight corner there. All right, I'll see you at the sell point. And there we go. Crops going in the silo, or sell point, I guess I would say. Now, I mean, it hasn't been too bad. It took, it's taken a little over an hour, or right around an hour. I mean, give or take a few minutes to get that little field done. That's not too shabby. Thanks to the helper, they made a big difference. Definitely made a big difference. So that's 17 grand. Very nice. So we're going to make what? That would be about 30, maybe 32, 33 grand, somewhere in there. All right, let's get up here. Let's grab the last of this, and then we can decide what we want to do. We can either plant this field, which sounds kind of like a good idea to me because I have a new planter in mind. And I would really like to see how it works or how well it works. In theory, it sounds like the bomb is what it sounds like. Sounds really quite cool. Now, before I go, I want to stop here. Let's get out. Is there a place? Okay, so there is. This is where we put, I would assume, water and manure must go somewhere, right? It wouldn't take just water, but I think we're going to buy the honey pot here. Isn't that what they call this? Is the honey pot? Ah, uh, honey pot allotment. There we go. That costs what? How much does it cost? It costs 11 grand. And I have no idea. I know it gives us money per hour, but I do not know how much. But I think we should buy it just so that uh, we own this nice little clump. I don't, of course, I don't want the sawmill. Oh, that's zero anyway, so it doesn't matter about that. Well, I guess there's no better time than the present. And purchased it is. So now we need to figure out as far as water goes. I have a couple ideas on that as well. We'll get back to this. This must be uh, the manure. So it must go somewhere. Let's go get this dropped off. So we were just 5% shy of uh, two full truckloads. Not bad at all. I'm going to try a little different way here. Oh, oh my goodness gracious. As I sit here and say I'm a good driver. I am a liar. That's what I am. I'm a horrible driver. <laughs> not good at all. I'm not sure where this guy comes out at. But I guess we're, let's find out. That's what I say. Let's cruise on down here. At a nice, slow, steady 55 miles an hour. Well, holy Toledo, it comes out at our farm. Who would have thunk? I wonder why that wall's broken. We definitely need to come up here and get our pigs rocking as well. Just too many things. Open. There you go. Wait, I hit it twice. Come on there. There, perfect. Last time I'll close those, that's for sure. I'm a believer in open gates. Zip on through. See, I, I need to learn how to cut down these shrubs. Whoa. Ah, oh, there we go. Another thousand. So that was what? 33,000 is what we made? Not too shabby at all. And I, what? 
so the field itself only cost us well the whole farm only cost us 125 so we've already made 33 of that back not bad let's pull let's pop in here garage and we can return that indeed because i am done with that perfect we need we need a cedar that's what i want to do let's let's do that because i because i have one that i want to try and it is where is it come on i know you're here there it is the novag the t4640 <clears throat> now it is quite expensive but we are i think we're gonna buy it this guy here does the uh, plowing and everything. So it's not only a direct drill, but it plows the field as you plant. So you never have to plow the field. As long as you're using this, you never have to plow. Now, I don't remember what the uh, width is. Does it say? No, it does not. Now, well, before I get this, let's see here. Garage owned... 405. Okay, so the Massey can handle it. The Fendant can't. I hate to say it, but I think the Fendant might be on its way out. Just for the turning radius alone, that was painful. Very, very painful turning that beast around. There we go. So, all right. This is, a, whew, this is a lot of cash, but here we go. Now, we can do more seed. Uh, we can do the same on each. Or more fertilizer. And I believe, well, I'm going to go with more fertilizer. And I'm going to go without additional weight. Now, it does have a rim color. I don't think we can get, yeah, that's, uh, I think I like, I think I like the silver there. The metal better. That looks good. So let's, uh, ooh, this is going to hurt. When there we go. We bought it. 160 grand. So now that we've done that, okay, so I have fertilizer in my fertilizer spreader. We are going to need, definitely need fertilizer. I don't think we are going to need seed. We have three pallets of seed. Let's see, do we want, there's fertilizer there. I thought somewhere I had saw that we had a pretty good deal on fertilizer, wasn't it? Where, oh, where was it? Not that one. That one tricked me once before. Well, I don't know. Let's just go with that. I don't think that was it. But we're going to do two of those. I think that should do us just fine. Now, I need to grab my tractor. Get the Fendant down here. Not the Fendant. Get the Massey down here and get to the store. So what I'll do is I will just meet you all at the store. That way you don't have to ride along with me in that long, arduous drive. And here we are. How's she look? Let's get out and kind of take a quick gander at this thing. Looks kind of interesting. I would assume those are the plowing part of it. That is quite a large hopper for this small of a planner I would think but that's all right Let's see if we can, it's actually gonna go with the Massey pretty good I think nice little color combination oh maybe I should turn that on for this oh uh, oh you can create fields holy cow look at that that <laughs> this is pretty sharp I like it Let's fill it up. I actually hit that button by accident. I was trying to play it off and be cool, but. <laughs> well, okay, I guess it holds 2,000 liters of fertilizer. Oh, so it must hold probably 1,000 liters of uh, seed is my guess. Now, I thought it held like 4,000 liters. Huh, I don't know. I'm a little confused. But I spend my life that way most times. 
I'll stop that. All right, there. How's that? Let go. Stop it. Ah. Crazy thing. I was supposed to just sit on there real nice like and just ride all the way back to the farm. There we go. Well, you and I know both know that this guy's probably not going to ride that way all the way back. But we're going to do our best. All right. Well, I guess I'll just refill on the move. We should be good. Ah, oh, heck yeah. It might actually make it. Don't, don't go too fast. Don't go too fast. Perfect. All right. I will see y'all at the farm here. Let's see if we can fill up with a little bit of seed. Okay. Now, isn't that supposed to start filling with seed? Oh, maybe it's because my fertilizer's in the way. How about over there? We'll wait over there. What, what the heck am I doing? First, you need to fill the tool. Yes, I do. Can I not fill it off the ground? Uh, well, I don't know. Well, okay. Uh oh, 150. I'm like, well, that was really quick. <laughs> now I know why. What in the world is this thing doing? Okay, there we go. It's doing something, even if it's wrong. It is doing something. Now, did I or did I not pick to have more fertilizer than seed? There we go. Stop it. And it looks like we got the same. Maybe I picked that. I thought I picked the uh, more fertilizer than seed. But, you know, my memory is about a half inch long. That is not very good. Let's get our butt down to the field and let's see how good this thing works. And we are back. Let's back out a little bit. Let's see here. Let's unfold. All righty. So she is not very big at all. What, that'd be like six meters, I guess, maybe? I don't know. Okay, all right, so we need to lower. Now, I need to change. I do not want wheat. Normally, is it not triangle? to change what you're putting in the ground? Now, just a minute ago, what happened? I had more fertilizer than that. Now I am so confused. Well, I guess that's not too difficult is to confuse me, but anywho, I can turn on my lights real nice, but nothing tells me how to change it from wheat. Oh, I turned on my radio. That's good. That's always nice. Ah. So I am not putting wheat in there. So give me just a minute. Let me see if I can figure this out. Well, everybody, I am at a complete loss. I have no idea how to change what crop I'm putting down. I have, uh, well, I have tried every configuration that I can think of, and I cannot find anything that allows me to change it off of wheat. So if I want wheat, then we are set. But I, I really don't want wheat. I was just going to plant this bad boy grass. That's what I was going to do with it and start our whole grass, grass area right over here. 
but I cannot do so. So I am going to, I'm not going to give up yet. Well, for this, for this video, I'm going to give up. If any of you, look at that, I'm trying to fill tools and stuff over there. Have any idea how to do this? Please let me know. But as of right now, I've got no idea. So what I need to do is go here and let's unload. And now I have remembered what happened to my fertilizer. On the way here, I was trying to change my uh, what was being planted in the ground. And I unloaded and I thought I put everything back in. But obviously I did not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that guy there right now. Just leave him there, leave him be, and we will grab something else in the meantime. So let's go here. And I'm going to go with old reliable here, horse pronto. Let's get it. And I'm just going to lease it. I know I said I'm getting rid of all my leased vehicles and I've leased twice. Well, three if you count, you know, both implements for the sugar beets. But who's, who's really counting anyway? Me. Okay, so let's lease it. And hopefully we will find our answer to the other cedar. And we will be able to go from there. So what I'm going to do, since I'm tired of driving back and forth. Let's go here. Right there. And reset. Perfect. Whoa. Oh, ha. I reset the wrong thing. I'm such a maroon. <laughs> reset. There we go. Okay. There it is. All right. So we're going to take the horse. We'll take it back to the field and see what's happening. Now, if you're wondering why the fendant's parked here, it's because... I leased a very small cedar just trying to figure out, make sure I was not crazy. And, well, I may be crazy, but the button that normally works for uh, changing what you're planting is the triangle plus the trigger, at least on a PS4 controller. But it did not work on the other one. So there we are. No problems. We'll just uh, use something different. I'll meet you back over there at the field. And here we are and ready to rock and roll. And look at that. I can change what we're putting in the ground. Look, so easy. I have no idea what the dealio is with that. But that's kind of part of the fun of farm sim is trying to figure out the new implements that's the whole thing i'm just not smart enough to figure it out evidently <laughs> i'm thinking that we'll run a few probably what three headlands on this guy that should do us pretty good i would think anyway So let's uh, let's put her nose to the grindstone. Let's just get it pounded out. And there we go. Just like that. Lickety split. We are done. Didn't hardly use anything, really. Let's just pull this guy right over here. I'm just going to park it up right here for now. So what I'm wondering is what do we need for these? Well, I know we're going to need manure. I know we need water. Oh, okay, I see. So the water goes here, and manure goes over here, which means I am going to need a front loader attached to something. So we may have to just wait on that. I don't have a front loader for anything right now. And I am down to $19,000. Because I bought that uh, planter that doesn't want to plant anything but wheat. <laughs> so, and if all we can plant is wheat, we're not going to be making that much money, are we? So let's get our butt back to the farm. 
and we will go from there. And we have made it back. All right. Now, I think this is about all the time that we have. I went looking to see how long this thing was running. And as usual, it is running quite a bit longer than I want it to. I think every video that I put out is running longer than I want it to. I'm looking for like maybe somewhere between 35 and 40, 45 minutes, somewhere in there. And they all seem to be in the 50 range or a little bit longer. But, you know, I can't help myself. And then as I get done, I'm still looking for what's next. What should I be doing next? It is a sickness, everybody. It is definitely a sickness. And I'm glad you all have the same sickness as I do. <laughs> so at least I know I'm not alone. With that, hey, be good, everybody. And until next time, see ya.